Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Vic Slain Hope. And I got another video for y'all, man. Um, I need y'all to pay very, very, very close attention to this video, man. I really do. Um, because, yo, you can literally lose your life out here over a parking space. You know, over a parking space. It's just, I know it sounds crazy. It sounds very ignorant, and it is, um, but that's, you know, you can lose your life in so many different ways, and I always heard people talk about um, the issues behind parking spaces, but I never really got into nothing until like the other day. Not that I really got into something, but I'm going to explain the story as it goes in, right? Um, so the other day, I think during the weekend, it was like my first time really experiencing something behind a parking space. I never experienced that. Like I always heard people talk about people getting shot and things happening to folks behind the parking space, but I never experienced it, right? I never knew what that was about. So <laughs> like I said, man, you can lose your life over a parking space. All it takes is the right dumb mother lovers. And <laughs> you you got that concoction right there. But anyway. So I go to um I go to the mall, right? And I'm going over there, whatever. So I'm looking around, you know, sometimes when you want to park closer to the mall, you know, you're looking for like the closer parking, right? To like where you're gonna get out and go into the building. So I'm looking, 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 looking. And then I'm just like, <clears throat> so you know, there was parking far away from like where I was trying to enter. But then I was like, you know, I could probably find something. Like I always seem to have a, you know, a little 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 good outlook on parking, right? So I'm looking right to like the closest part. And then um so I find like a, a decent parking, like close to the spot that I was going into. So I stop, I pull up, I'm waiting. So I'm just sitting there waiting. I put the you know, I put the hazards on for those of y'all who drive. And I'm just sitting there waiting <clears throat> for the car to move out. Cause the car I seen the people like they they moving out. So I'm just waiting. So as I'm sitting there waiting, some dude pull up. Like, yo, he literally, like, so you know how, like, when you're, when you're driving, you know, if you're going this way, you stay to the right lane. Whoever's coming this way stays to the left lane. So, you know, so you could keep the traffic flowing like that. You know, so you could keep the traffic, my bad. If you're going, you know, if you're going this way, you stay to the right. If you're coming from over there, you stay to the left. That's how it goes, right? Keep the traffic flowing. Um, Sons, I'm right here already waiting. Some pull up from the, the left lane, the lane that's supposed to be going this way. He pulls in. So as soon as the other car, the, the car I think came out went that way. So he comes in, he, he drives around the corner, boom, and just turns in there. He just turns into the spot. So I'm looking at this dude like, yo, bro. So I honked the horn. Like, yo, bro, like, what you doing? So son, like, he kind of like then fully parked. So like he went in and then he like, he rolls down like the window. And I'm like, my music is blasting. So like, I roll down the window like, yo, bro, like, what you doing? Like, I was waiting for the spot. So he just like. Look, he just got this dumb look. Like, you know, he had to be younger than me, man. Like, he just had, like, this stupid, dumb, probably drugged look on his face. Or, or who knows what else they be into, right? He just got this sedated look, like, this sedated, slow, retarded look. Excuse my language. <laughs> but, yo, so I'm just looking at this dude, like, so I'm just like, okay, like, I'm, I, I'm just, like, having a moment right here. So, boom. So then I go. So he fully parks. So I'm thinking he's going to leave the parking space because he could go through and leave. So I see him like fully drive. So I started to like go in there because I'm thinking he's going to go out the other way. And son, then he started backing up. He was just adjusting himself. So I'm just like, yo, these dudes is really like really crazy. Like you get what I'm saying? They really disrespectful. Like, and I'm just like, yo. So like in that moment. So. <laughs> The dude comes out the car, and then I'm like, but I'm I'm going through like my own emotions at the moment. Like I'm just like, this dude is really mad, disrespectful. Like you, you get what I'm saying? Like, like I'm about respect. I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb enough to throw my life away. And at the same time, I think as a man, you have to recognize when is the moment that you're willing to, willing to stand for something, and what are moments that you're just gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna let you rock because you obviously don't know what's up. So you got to know that as a man, you got to be able to decipher moments when you're going to go all out or when you're just going to let it rock. And 
I used to say this the way and, and, and the thing that prepared me for these moments, right, is when I was in prison. When when people used to do certain things, when people used to violate a certain way, when people used to do blatant, disrespectful stuff, right? Where you have moments where it's like this. Cause in jail, my mindset is like this. In jail, it was like I'm not fighting nobody. I'm not I'm not getting into some little little wrestling match with you. And then you're gonna be plotting on me to cut me, to stab me, or to do this after I beat you up. I'm not going through that. So in jail, in prison, I already had this mindset. If me and you got a problem, I'm hawking you. That's it. I'm, I'm not even. If 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 it's serious, if I feel like the disrespect is that serious, I already thought about it. If I get into a fight with you, I beat you up. You stay in the jail. You plot on me. You think you're gonna cut me. You think you're gonna sneak up on me, stab me. I'm not let. I'm not letting you do that. Cause once I hook you, you out the jail. I don't gotta worry about retaliation unless you in a gang and then i gotta go on some on some wow me against the world type stuff right but outside of that this is my train of thought like if the violation is serious enough i'm going all the way in i need you to understand me if the violation is serious enough i'm going all the way in so i'm sitting here in this moment processing am i really gonna go all the way in there's two dudes there's two chicks, not that the two dudes matter, right? There's two of them, and it's like two chicks. And so the dude comes out the car, and he he kind of like, he didn't like come to like my window, but he kind of like was like in the middle of the parking thing. So he comes out the window, he's like, yo, 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 bro, like, yo, you good? Like, and the way he's saying it, it's like, like, come on, I've been in the streets. I'm not the smartest guy. I'm not the toughest guy. Like, I could, the temperature he giving me is not on some like, he ready to go. Like, he giving me this, I'm only saying this because I'm with the girls and I don't really want to look a certain way or I want to act like I'm tough, but he not saying it with that. Y'all dudes that have been in the street, you know when a dude is saying it, like when, when a dude is, is communicating with his whole body language, is communicating certain things. You you know, you just know. So the dude like, pants hanging down, don't got no belt. Like, he don't got a fanny pack, right? He, you, 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 you just look unprepared for, 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 for what could have happened to you. You get what I'm saying? So he's like, yo, you, you you good? I'm like, yo, bro, I've been waiting for the spot, bro. Like, you just, that's crazy. So he like, you, you know, with the same dumb look. Yo, I, 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 you know, I was waiting for a spot for Mad Long too, you know, like, like I'm just like. <sighs> so again, at this moment, <laughs> I'm like, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just contemplating. I'm just like, yo, if I get out this car, like, I'm gonna let him have it. Like, you know, like, and, and so I'm just like having this moment where I'm just like, yo, if I get out this V right now, like his man gonna have to get it too. You get what I'm saying? And then I, then there's witnesses because there's the girls and I'm just like, oh Lord, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, damn. Um, and I'm just like, I just had to shake it off, man. Like, I just had to like, Shh. it's crazy. So I'm like this. I'm not as heated. I'm just kind of like, these dudes really don't get it, man. Like, had I been some ignorant dude, like, yo, that stuff would have went left. If I was some ignorant dude, that stuff would have went all the way left. All the way left. All the way. Not even a little bit. All the way. And people be underestimating people. You know, right now I got my little preppy sweater, you know. Somebody will underestimate me right now. You know, I smile and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um... But that's the point. People be underestimating people, man. Because a lot of these dudes don't know. They haven't been schooled. They haven't been taught. They think they street. They think they know the streets. And they really don't know. They don't even have, like, come on. A basic principle thing is respect, homie. Is having respect. That, that gets you a long way. I tell people all the time, respect gets you a long way, homie. Respect gets you a long way. Amongst men. Amongst these other dudes. I don't know, man. I don't even know what to call these males. Right, but respect amongst men gets you a long way. It's about respect, homie. So, anyway, um, so boom. So I go around, right? I drive around. Um, so I find another parking spot. But mind you, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> I'm still thinking about this dude. Like, like, not only did you disrespect by taking a parking space, but you also try to fake like, like press me, like you. <laughs> You also try to fake like, yo, you 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 good? <laughs> like, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like this. So I'm still thinking about it. I'm just like, yo, 
Like, these dudes is crazy. So I was like this, you know what? I'm flattening his tires. He thought I was petty me in the moment. I was like, you know what? I found the other parking space, but I was like, nah, I'm going back over there. I go back to to the spot um, to where his car was at. So I'm like, I'm flattening his tires. You know, now I don't even want to go anymore. So I was like, and then I was just like, so when I pulled up to the spot where his car was at, another dude pull up. What well, the dude, it was a dude. So when I first was trying to initially park, there was a dude behind me that was waiting to park too. So when the dude see me come back around the car, I mean, come back around that way, he was like, he, so he sees me, right? He's like, yo, bro, why you let him, why you just let him do that, man? Like, these dudes is crazy out here. Like, you know, these, these, these dudes is mad disrespectful, man. So I'm just like, I said, you know, man, like, at some point, you know, you got to be the person. I said, look, this is really what it comes down, right? Like, like that that dude, that kid, I, I'm not, I don't know if he's a kid. He probably was like 25. That dude that did that, like, he, he doesn't even realize I could be detrimental to his health, right? Like, like in that moment, you don't even, and, and look, he could have been detrimental to my health. I could be wrong about the body language. I could be wrong about everything I just said to y'all previously in the video. This shit goes both ways. It's not just I could just harm somebody. Somebody could harm you too. But I ain't thinking like that. Like, you know, I, when I've been in the streets, I don't underestimate people. But I also feel the energy. I see what's at play. I see what's going on. But I always had that mindset, I'm going to go home. I'm going to make it home. Like, that's that's just always been my mindset. I'm making it home. Like, I'm going to get it done. Like, I'm doing it. Like, that's just always been my mindset. Again, it don't mean that shit can't happen to me. It just means that I'm determined to make it home. I'm going to make it. Right? Um. So, anyway, I'm just like... I said, you know what, at some point, bro, you, you, you just got to realize that you knowing you, you know you're detrimental to somebody's health. You know, like, if you if I step out this V, like, my mindset is already on I'm hurting anything that get in my way. Like, that's just, it is what it is. Like I said, a lot of people be half-stepping, they be playing, they be playing double dutch, they be, you know, undecided on what they're going to do, how they're going to do it, they be, they, nah, homie, when I make up my mind, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you. And that's that. It is what it is. So I was telling him, like, you know, I ain't tell him, I ain't tell him I do all of this, right? But I was just saying, like, you know, I could be, you, people don't realize you could be detrimental to their health. And in these moments, you got to be the one to be like, is it worth me, like, really, like, really, 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 is it worth what I got for you? <laughs> that, that's how you got to think in those moments, right? It's moments of growth. You got to really think to yourself. Is what is what I'm capable of doing right now in this second. Does this situation warrant that? Cause one thing about it, bro, you don't wanna because anybody can get caught doing whatever, right? But you don't want to be in a situation where you sitting in a cell and you're like, damn, I should have never did it. It wasn't even worth it. You having all these regrets. You don't want to be in that situation. So whatever situation you're gonna embark on. You need to know a thousand percent like that you're going to be satisfied with whatever happens, with whatever comes. If if, if more beef comes, if y'all bump into each other later or, or, his, or whatever the situation is, you have to be a thousand percent comfortable that you that whatever comes with it, whatever comes with it. So I was just telling this dude, like, you know, man, like I had, you know, I had to be the person. I had to be the person in that moment because it's not that serious, homie. It's a lot of other parkings, but I'm not going to deny how it made me feel. You get what I'm saying? So, and a lot of men, a lot of men don't have that. A lot of men, a lot of men don't have that. A lot of men don't have that in those moments because they have these visceral reactions and they just act of impulse. And sometimes I tell, I tell people, if you just took like five minutes or not five minutes, yeah, like, like if you just took a few seconds to think, breathe, you know, <laughs> relax a little, you know, really think about the whole plan, think the whole plan out, like you'll probably make a different decision. That's if you got some type of emotional intelligence. That's if you got some type of balance, right, um, between your hormones. You you would take those those few seconds of breathers or those few minutes. They work wonders, man. So, but that was my first situation, and then I ended up not even popping his tires. I could have did it, you know. I could I could have popped the tires. I could have got out on him, got crazy. But I was just like, you know what? It felt good to be in a situation, to be in a moment. And not really react on the basis of me feeling disrespected, even though it was it was a form is a disrespect, right? But me 
also being big enough to be like, you know what? I'm going to spare you, homie. <laughs> and again, I'm not the toughest. But the element of surprise is always there, homie. The element of surprise is like the most beautiful thing you have on your side. Especially when nobody knows you. Mm -mm -mm. So I always tell people, be mindful who you play with. Be mindful who you talk crazy to. That's why I don't talk crazy. I give everybody respect. I, I, I engage in a certain way. And sometimes you might catch me at a time where I'm going to be less tolerant. That's why I don't like to be angry. I don't like to be upset. I, I, you know, I, I like to be chill. Good vibes. Every time you see me, anybody who know me, I'm always about good vibes. Sometimes people might catch me at the wrong time, man, and I'm not playing that disrespect stuff. But sometimes I, I overlook stuff. I just be like, you know what? It's not even that serious. Like, it's not even that, it's not even that serious. Because I think I, cause once I think about the whole plan of what I'm going to do to you, I'll be like, it's not even worth it, homie. And again, I got this practice while I was in prison. Because this is my train of thought. Like, I used to be thinking, like, is it worth me possibly getting a new charge or whatever else is going to come with this beef with, with, with whatever gang? Because, you know, dudes, the, the dude I might have to do something to is in the gang. So I had to think about this. And, and prison, sitting my butt down in prison, allowed me to really sit there and think and think through things. I used to think when I was home, I used to think a lot of things through, too. Um, but I just was able to think more about the outcomes. See, like in the street, I used to think, but I wasn't really thinking about the, the collateral damage, the outcomes, and, and everybody that gets affected when you decide to do something to somebody. When I was in there, I thought about the outcomes. I, you know, I started thinking about the bigger picture, everybody that gets affected behind your decision. So, brothers, man, I know it's tough. It's hard sometimes. Sometimes you, you want to make an example bad. Like, trust me, I know. Sometimes you want to make an example bad. Sometimes you got to make an example bad. Sometimes you have to. But the thing is, in you, you need to know how to decipher what that moment is. What is the moment in which you actually need to really take a stand? And what is the moment in which... <coughs> My bad. Mm. You need to decipher. Mm. Tea so good. You need to decipher what that moment is. What moment are you going to decide to really go all the way out? And what moment are you going to be like, you know what? This is not even that serious. I'm going to let this rock. Um, and once you're able to do that, and once you're able to pause, once you're able to think things through, you probably start having better outcomes out here when it comes to these things. Because trust me, I know. I know how it feels to be disrespected. You know we big on respect. Y'all know that? Come on. Come on, brothers. Y'all know we big on respect. You know, even to the point when our sisters disrespect us, we, we be fuming, right? We big on respect. I get it. I just encourage you to also know when, when, when the time is right for you to just go all out and when, when it's time for you to just be like, it's not that serious. But let me know what y'all thoughts are in the comment section. Or if y'all had y'all own experiences over parking, or if y'all know any any situations that have gotten out of hand behind parking. Mm, peace.